Um, hello, hi, happy Monday. I hope you're doing good. Today I have a book haul to share with you. I recently acquired some books because I buy books, it's a problem, you know, that's nothing new. But um, I have five books here that I want to share with you guys and I'm really excited for these. I'm hoping to get to them soon. That's what I tell myself. We'll see though. So let's just get started. The first book that I want to share with you is Hunker and it is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. I want to say a year or so ago, maybe over a year now, I read The Three Musketeers and that book was so much fun. It was such a fun, thrilling, exciting read. It was filled with action, adventure, romance, and it was just such a good time. It was funny too. I've heard that The Count of Monte Cristo is even better than The Three Musketeers a series, so I decided to finally pick it up. It is huge, huge, but um, I don't care. I'm going to read it. I don't know anything about this besides that it has to do with revenge. I don't know exactly what entails with the revenge, but I will find out. I'm hoping to read this soon. I'm thinking of doing either a reading vlog or a book review or something of the sort, but uh, yeah, The Count of Monte Cristo. This next one I'm so excited for because as we all know, I love a good creature book, and this one is Hunters of the Dark Sea, a wailing novel novel of suspense by Mel Odom. What I can take away from this book that I've heard of so far is that it's similar to, I guess you could say like Moby Dick in the sense that we're following these whalers and that they get attacked by a creature or they get followed by a creature. But what I think is different about this one is that I'm, my theory is that the creature is some sort of squid, maybe the kraken as you can tell from this cover. And also what really sold me was that inside the book says, Odom combines the suspense of alien with the historical storytelling telling of Caleb Carr and Michael Crichton. And as we all know, I love me some Michael Crichton. And I love anything that involves Alien, though I've never read the book novelizations, I've just seen the movies. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. It looks like such a blast. Um, I'm hoping it's thrilling and scary and just a page turner. I just love these types of books so much. Next, I have one that I have been wanting for so long and I finally decided just to purchase it recently and that is Widow's Point by Richard Chismar and Billy Chismar. I believe it is a father and son author duo that wrote this and it's a very short story. It's barely over a hundred pages if even that. I've been wanting it for so long but I just couldn't uh, bring myself to purchase it because it's just a small book. This story is set at a lighthouse. So when this lighthouse was first built in the early 1800s, three of the workers died um, accidentally and then a couple decades later there was some more accidents and people died and some more people died until finally the lighthouse had to be shut down because there was just so many deaths and accidents and then later on now we follow this writer who decides to go to this lighthouse because he wants to get I guess inspired and he wants new material to write a really great book so he goes to this lighthouse that's haunted and I think it's a ghost story of some sorts. I'm so excited because I love anything that has to do with lighthouses and I love a good spooky story and this is short so I'm hoping to use this for a readathon maybe, but we'll see. Next I have my most anticipated release of 2020 and that is The Deep by Alma Katsu. This author uh, wrote The Hunger which I believe was a uh, horror thriller uh, take on the Donner Party. The Deep is her take on the Titanic and she kind of throws in a ghost story and I guess we follow a character on the Titanic as they, f I guess there's hauntings and mysterious deaths that happen on the ship while the Titanic is sailing and then after the Titanic sinks we follow some of the characters that survived and as they try to deal with what they went through with this haunting and trying to figure out what actually happened and so that's all I know about this but I'm really looking forward to it. To be honest though I haven't been hearing the best reviews on this book so my expectations have dropped a lot but I nonetheless I'm still looking forward to this and I hope it's at least um you know interesting and it doesn't have to be scary but I just I want a nice Titanic story. And the last book that I want to share with you is a book that I kind of can't believe that I own just because I never pictured myself purchasing this book but I have always wanted to experience this book just to see what it's like. I want to read it just to say I read it and that is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski and this is one of the strangest books I have ever seen in my life because the way it's written, the style, the things that that this like look at that this page has nothing on it besides a couple texts in here 
and then like things are upside down and just the format of this book but what do I know about this book I know that people say it's one of the scariest things I've ever read and whatnot I don't think that is the case though I think this book is one of those like psychological books that pulls you in so it might mess with you in that way I've heard good things about this book but I've also heard bad things about this book so I just want to read it myself so I can see what what it's like and I want to I want to review it I want to talk about it I want to experience it I just want to know you know I just want to know this book has so much um so much hype and I feel like so many people talk about this but I've never actually seen someone really really talk about it in depth and I would like to do that so uh yeah I want to read this when will I read it I don't know maybe soon oh my gosh this is all in red I don't think you can see this but the text is red and everything's crossed out what even is this I don't know um but I'm gonna read it so those are all the books that's my book haul uh not too many books I'm trying to keep it down on the book buying because I have so many unread books as it is and I really need to get on to reading what I own so that's what I'm gonna try to do we'll see um but yeah if you guys have read any of these books let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below we could chat um and all of that good stuff so uh, I hope you have a good start to your week and I will see you later bye